Pisces couples, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela. So this is going to be your reading, Pisces couples. And this is from March 1st to March 7th. So let's take a look at what's going on for Pisces couples. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general reading. So everything may not resonate with everyone, including the details and the outcome. But... Let's get started. Pisces couples, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for March 1st through March 7th. And anything that is said in this video can go vice versa. So keep that in mind. It's only a general reading. So please be sure not to make any life-changing decisions based on a general reading. It looks like you have a lot of swords. Okay, I'm seeing cups. Gemini specifically. Okay, I'm seeing Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And yeah, that's what I'm seeing. <sighs> You're dealing with a water sign, or this is you in your moon rising or Venus sign. And someone is not making a head over heart decision about where they want this relationship to go. Excuse me, there's been infidelity in this relationship and someone's willing to release themselves from it. They're ready to let it go. I'm seeing that someone is not committed. You're dealing with someone who is non-committal and they're reaching out and they're speaking to someone else. That they're, They have someone else that they're dealing with, it looks like. And they've fallen out of love. There's no love left here in this situation. And um, everyone's, someone in this situation is alleviating their worries by not giving this a second chance. Someone's letting go of all the burdens, all the fears, everything that happened in the past, and they're letting it go. I'm seeing that, <clears throat> excuse me, the circumstances that have happened have caused you to question your self-worth and you're not understanding why your partner is treating you so poorly. All right. And it looks like you're what really willing to let go of past burdens. I'm even seeing, you know, past burdens and, you know, including this relationship, because it looks like you want more for yourself than to be in a relationship where you're feeling taken for granted. I'm seeing that someone could be drinking to handle the issues that are going on in the relationship. Someone could be um, reacting in an overdramatic way. Someone's acting out of character because of the situation. Um, someone's possibly being a workaholic and spending a lot of time out of the home in order to cover up what it is that's going on in the house, not, you know, for them not to deal with the situation, for them to have an excuse to be MIA. This relationship was stable at one point or someone wants to move on to stability because they feel like they're, they're not able to find that stability here. Now, someone is serious when they're talking about they want stability elsewhere. They're thinking definitely about long term. They're thinking about laying roots with someone that they've been dealing with because they're realizing that and they must have been dealing with this person for quite some time. This could be someone that they dealt with before. It could be an ex for some of you. So they're thinking longevity and they're thinking about leaving to be with someone else that they've been dealing with. Could be a Sagittarius. Or this could be you and your moon arising. Someone wants a new beginning. But it has to do with someone other than this relationship. There's there's someone on the outside. It could be a Leo. I'm seeing the strength in reverse. So things are in limbo right now. And it looks like your partner is not willing to put in the work and the dedication to keep this relationship going. I'm getting a lot of threes. I'm, I'm seeing three party situation. I'm seeing a recurring theme here. And someone just doesn't feel like they have the strength to continue. See, I'm seeing drinking. 
someone is kind of drinking to quell their frustration, their worries, their disappointments, because someone's feeling very disappointed at the way that things have played out in this relationship. <sighs> okay, and I am also seeing infidelity. Like someone has physically stepped out on this relationship and they've, they've cheated. Three of Swords in reverse. They're cheating on two people. They're cheating on you and they're cheating on someone else because this person is going back and forth, but I feel like someone has made a decision. Right? They've been hanging around in this situation with you, but I'm seeing that their heart is not in this situation. Their heart is elsewhere. So I'm seeing that someone, if they haven't already, that they will very soon. Keep in mind, it's a general reading. So this won't happen to, you know, it won't be the, everyone's circumstance, but I'm seeing that someone is about to take a leap of faith. They're leaving to be and to, and to have a stable relationship with someone else. There could be a child involved. I'm seeing recurring pictures of children. Okay. So you, this person could have a child with someone else, a child with you. There could be two sets of children. There could be an ex that they have children with, an ex-wife, an ex-husband. And they there may be children in this current situation. Page of Swords in reverse. I feel like that there's definitely someone spying and trying to figure out what's going on. And I feel like there's a lot of arguments about the past. There's a lot of regrets about the past in this situation. I feel like someone wishes that they could turn back time and change things. You know, and I'm seeing that someone is kind of giving up the fight as it pertains to this relationship. I'm seeing strong fire sign energy and earth. And cups, so water. You know what I'm saying? All elements here. So really, it could be anyone. See that? I'm seeing a family type of situation, a family dynamic. This is another three card. So there's definite. This is like a situation where three is a crowd, and with the seven of swords in reverse as your overall energy, someone's definitely being sneaky. But they were caught in the act of whatever it was that they were doing. You may have caught them, you know, via spying. You found out what was going on. I'm also seeing that there is this immature communication. Someone's not able to communicate without being childish in this situation. Yeah, and you're just wondering why. Why did this person do the things that they did? Or God, why? Why did they hurt me the way that they did? Why didn't they come to me and tell me the truth? So the advice here, Pisces, is to remain flexible because I'm seeing things evening out for you. You have someone new coming in after the situation if you decide to end it. And this isn't me telling you to end your relationship at all. I want to make that clear. This is me being a messenger and telling you what the, the cards say. But ultimately, the decision is yours. I am seeing someone coming in that will appreciate you. And I'm also seeing you taking a leap of faith. This could also mean that someone solid is coming in for you. Someone that's serious about you. And yeah, someone who wants a second chance with you. And maybe you're not open to giving them a second chance. And it's, it's someone outside of this relationship, not your current partner. This is someone that's coming in to prove their loyalty to you. So yeah, here it is. You've had a, all of this chaos and conflict in your current relationship. And you've tried to be open. You've tried to be flexible. You've been trying to work it out. But you're getting absolutely no results for some of you. You feel like you're going around in circles and wasting your time in this relationship. So what I'm seeing is that you're coming to terms with the fact that this relationship is just not for you. Not the way that it's 
not the way that it's working out. It's just you're not happy. And I'm seeing that you want peace. But like I said, you do have someone that's coming in your life in the near future. Someone that you've probably dealt with in the past that has unfinished business with you. So I'm seeing that you may get a message from someone that you've dealt with in the past. And they may be coming in to try to work things out with you. Yeah. See? You've known this person before. This person that's coming in for you. You've known this person before and they want to have something solid with you. So... Once you're, I feel like there's someone waiting for you to leave this situation. They're waiting for this situation to come to an end because someone else is interested and they are hoping that you will be on the same page with them, right? They want to know that it's safe for you to love or you're wondering if it's safe for you to love and open up because you've been hurt so much as a result of this relationship. Okay, you have chemistry with someone else, possibly the mother or father of your children religious factors, um, religion, or spiritual path, or upbringing could be different between the two of you, but I am seeing romantic feelings. Now, as it pertains to this relationship, I'm seeing unrequited love, but there just wasn't enough chemistry or attraction to keep this relationship going. And so I'm seeing things leading to a separation. Perhaps you attracted to someone else, but they're definitely attracted to you saying let your friends help you and this new person that's coming in is willing to make the effort I'm seeing you possibly traveling it could be for work as well work related situation maybe going on vacation and this is you uh, you or this person that is interested in you expressing their love to you but I'm seeing you stepping out of this relationship. Leaving a relationship because you're realizing that you're not getting the commitment that you deserve. And you're tired of being taken for granted and trampled on in this relationship. You're trying to manifest something new for some of you. Because I have the third eye chakra. You're trying to manifest a new opportunity. Again, this could be career related. It could definitely be relationship related. Solitude. Feeling alone. Let's see how one page is empty here. Keep in mind, I did say that there was this unfinished business. So with that said, that page won't be empty for long unless you choose for it to be that way. Now I'm seeing financial and material changes. Why? Because you've manifested something into being and now it's materializing the tangibility of the things that you've been hoping for. So you're about to see change take place. And you have solar plexus chakra. So I'm feeling like you're in tune with your chakras. You're in tune with your intuition. You're grounded. You're centered. You're able to decipher. Okay, but I feel like that's definitely an advice for some of you because some of you are very in your, you're definitely in your emotions and you could be allowing your emotions to rule you in this situation. But there's definitely a need to get grounded in order to get out of your head and get out of your emotions because that's, that's, that's not a place where you can make sound decisions. So I'm seeing that you are, like I said, getting grounded, getting centered. You're focused on your spiritual strength, fertility. I feel like this could be the mother or father of your children. I'm also seeing new creative ideas as it pertains to work. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay. And then mental conflict, of course, because you're getting out of a situation that was full of chaos and conflict. 
And so you're a bit reluctant to go back into a situation with someone else. But you do have someone coming in, as I've stated. Um, yeah, and this person wants to express their love to you. And this is going to give you mental conflict because you're not sure which direction to take this situation in, into. Okay. So some of you are definitely focused on... You're leaving this situation behind. You're not focused on what didn't work, what, um, what brought you down. Focusing on self-improvement, you know, both spiritually and physically. Seeking and finding. I feel like this card came out because there could be some type of job loss involved in this situation and you could be between jobs waiting to hear back and this is you weighing a decision weighing an option as far as um, your career is concerned i'm seeing seeking and finding a new job i'm seeing family changes your family dynamic is about to change okay so with that exercise program you're seeing results with the body changes like i said those tangible results for whatever work and effort you're putting in you're seeing the tangible results of things. But I'm definitely seeing you leaving, leaving a person, leaving a circumstance, leaving a job. And finding out what you did find out was enough motivation for you to move on. I'm also seeing a windfall, of course, with the Ace of, of Pentacles. Windfall, this could even be emotional, but definitely financially. Your finances are improving. So much so that you can plan for your retirement. Some of you are definitely thinking longevity as far as your career because you're seeking and finding something that you love because I'm feeling as though you are unfulfilled in your current situation as far as your career is concerned. And you're wanting to move on to something that pays you more. You're tired of being taken for granted on your job. And you're, you're, you're ready to let go of that disappointment and that sadness, and you're moving on to stability with the Four of Wands. So, I'm seeing that you've decided to stand your ground. Pisces. You're standing your ground because you've put forth so much sacrifice and effort into this relationship. And see, God has a better plan for you. And it's good that you're taking your time, okay? Because I'm saying that, yeah, you're dealing with someone that was wearing a false mask. And they're all about deception and envy and not being honest and transparent with you. So I'm saying that you're moving on. And right after that is a new beginning. And this is definitely job, career, and relationship. Oh, bring it into form. Right? With the, with, I'm sorry, the solar plexus and the third eye chakra, you're bringing it into being the very thing that you want, the very thing that is your heart's desire. You're bringing it into form, free from judgment, free to love. You're freeing yourself from the judgment of others, others' expectations of you. And you're deciding to do what makes you happy. Visions of life beyond death. That third eye chakra. Okay, so God could be showing you visions. Could be lining you up. There's definitely a need to listen to your intuition. So with that said, again, there's a need to get out of your feelings and out of your emotions. Because your emotions, not out of your emotions. What am I trying to say? Definitely there's a need to feel your emotions, but not be so emotional that you don't hear your intuition. Not be so emotional that it drives you to drink. I guess that's easy for an air sign to say, right? But I'm seeing that that's definitely going to cloud your intuition if you're so overwhelmed emotionally. The Ace of Cups. This is you having a new beginning. And with the full card, it's... 
at some point, you may be willing to take that leap of faith into this new beginning. You know, and you're leaving behind the drama of the past in order to have a new beginning. And you've decided to focus on the light. Focus on what makes you happy. Whether that's that new exercise program or expressing your love. And it doesn't even have to be as far as a relationship is concerned. It could be the love for your children, the love for your career. You know? That's what I'm seeing. And I am seeing it's someone from your past. And I'm seeing memories of love. You have memories of people that you've shared memories with, so it's not a new person, right? Because it says you've known each other before. And that's who's coming in for some of you. A new person, uh, someone from the past that you've dealt with that wants to mend things with you. This is entirely up to you. Yeah, you're leaving this behind. You're moving on because this person or this job or this circumstance is just not for you. Your children are watched over by angels. This is God letting you know that you are divinely protected and that you don't have to worry about your children. You know, you, they're protected, divinely protected. Okay, so you have believe and trust. You have shield yourself. Now, some of you may need to be shielded and protected, but I feel like this is you shielding yourself because maybe you're on guard and you don't initially trust this person that's coming back into your life. That's you shielding yourself, protecting yourself emotionally. I'm seeing a favorable outcome for you. I'm seeing that you're on the right path. Whatever it is that you're passionate about, I'm seeing that, yeah, this is you being on the right path. If you lost that job, it was because that wasn't for you. Okay, keep that in mind. It was just not for you, but you have a favorable outcome. You have something, you have a, a situation brewing that is going to give you that appreciation that you deserve, and you'll also be paid accordingly. It says this situation is already resolved, right? Because you've surrendered it. You've given it over to, to the universe. And it is, it's, it, the situation is already resolved. You don't have to worry about the situation or strive over the situation. It's already been handled. But it's going to take you surrendering that situation, not holding on to it, asking for help and giving it up and surrendering it and trusting that whatever is for you will come into your life. Then you have positive thoughts create positive results. Watch your thoughts, watch your actions, your thoughts create things. Keep that in mind. And then you have eternal love. And I feel like this is love from above, from God. His love is never ending. It's never ceasing. But I also feel like there's someone in your life that's coming to realize that you are valuable and that they want you in their life. But it's not your current situation because I'm seeing for some of you that situation is coming to an end. But it's for your benefit. You may not see it now, but you may see it later down the line. So let's see. Let's go ahead and pull an advice card. Holy Spirit, what advice do you have for Pisces couples, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for the first week of March? Pisces couples. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Nurture. Some of you definitely do have children. Okay. All right. The bottom of the deck is peace. And it says peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Of course that's true. God is love. God is real. Fear is nothing but false expectations appearing real. They're not 
the fear isn't the things that you fear are not factual because they haven't happened. They haven't played out. However, you continue to put your mind and your emotions into negativity. It does have the potential to play out in your life, so keep that in mind. Then you have nurture. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. Definitely a need to be gentle with yourself, be kind to yourself, and be patient with yourself. It says patience. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience spiritual understanding and see we are all here in this school of life we all are, the, the point is for us to evolve and change we're not here to be one dimensional and never come out of you know that mold god is molding us and shaping us and there's always lessons that are being learned and see if you don't learn the lesson the first time You'll go back around and it'll become a karmic lesson and you'll repeat it. What I'm seeing is God is trying to show you the spiritual understanding of it all. Because nothing happens by happenstance, nothing happens by coincidence. There's a reason for everything that happens. So that is what I am seeing for you Pisces singles. I'm sorry, Pisces couples. Just what I was talking about, transformation, change is inevitable and we can't avoid it. So different circumstances and situations are there to grow us and make us better and help us to change and help to propel us forward if that's what we want. Some people resist change, but it really is entirely up to you how difficult or how easy you make it. All right, so that's what I'm seeing for you Pisces couples. So that concludes your personal reading, your weekly reading. If you'd like to book a personal reading, you can do so by going directly to my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. And you can reach out to me on the Instant Go app. Please give me at least 24 hours to respond, okay, because I will respond. It's just that things get hectic sometimes, and yeah, it doesn't always take me the full 24 hours, but I will respond. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Oh, and I'm available by text only. So make sure to text me your question and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I will see you again next week. Bye for now.